Hi, this is Coggett, and today I'm doing a, a video on a stuffed hatch green chilies my way. And I'm going to have this in several parts. Uh, the first part, I'm going to explain what I did uh, and show you the chilies. And if you're not familiar with hatch chilies, uh, down here in uh, West Texas, where, where I live, Tornado Alley, Texas, uh, they come from uh, New Mexico. Uh, they're grown in Hatch Valley in around uh, Hatch, New Mexico. And the thing about these chilies are they're only grown in, uh, in, at a certain time of the year. And whenever August gets here, like the middle of August, uh, then, then they're ripe and ready and they just have a, a vest over it. Uh, down here, what, what they have, they have a, a hatch uh, a chili roasting uh, at, at stores, uh, local grocery markets, Walmarts, and it just is fantastic uh, to kind of uh, just watch them and, and just see all the uh, chilies, what's being roasted and everything. And they also come in different, uh, like, segments of heat. Like, you can get mild, uh, medium, hot, extra hot, very hot, and hot, hot. I mean, uh, it's just, it's, it's fantastic. And whenever the chili season uh, comes, and I always wait for it every year, uh, and I always make uh, what, what I call like a stuffed uh, uh hatch uh, chilies and what a hatch chili is and uh, something else is is the uh, heat level uh, is from 0 to 70,000 so uh, it's right I mean it can get pretty hot and a hatch chili looks like this right here it looks similar to that of Anaheim and these come in various sizes I mean they're long ones uh, short ones and uh, it just is it's fantastic. They smell smell just fantastic whenever you, you buy them and, and bring them home. And, and it just, oh man, I tell you, it just, you have to experience it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what, what I've done is I, I've uh, stuffed uh, my, my hatch chilies with uh, cream cheese, uh, diced tomatoes, cilantro, and red onion. And that's, that's why I like them. And I'm going to put them on the, the grill, and I'm going to show you how all this comes about. But what I've got here, I've got one already stuffed. And it's not rocket science. I mean, you just do the cream cheese and mix the tomatoes in. Uh, you mix the cilantro and the onion. If you want to put ground beef in this, fine. If you want to wrap a, a slice of bacon around this, that's what I wanted to do, but I didn't have any bacon. So I'm having to compromise. And I put the toothpicks in to kind of uh, help hold it together. And these uh, are, uh, like I said, they're just fantastic. And something else is you can also roast these uh, chilies on the grill. And I might have a, a video coming up of that. Uh, I'm, I think I, I, I might. But then uh, again, I, I don't know. But it's not hard to do. You just heat up the, the grill, uh, put them on the hot spot, uh, and just let them go until they char. Once they char, you put them in a brown paper bag or a, a freezer bag and let them sit. Just let them sit for about 15-20 minutes and let them cool down. Then you can take the, the, uh, the sh uh, like, like, like the, uh, uh, skin right off of them. That's what I want to say, is skin. It'll, it'll peel right off. And you got some good uh, chili there for like cooking, make chili rianos out of it. You can uh, dice it up and put it in dishes. Uh, it just, it goes on and on. And uh, something else is on these uh, uh, green chilies. It's like I say, they're only grown uh, and harvested in, in uh, like in August. And I'm just glad I live down here in West Texas where I can uh, really enjoy these and uh, after that they're gone. I mean they're gone for the year and you have to wait till next year I know you can also freeze these and like you can uh, 
roast them on the on the grill and bag them up and freeze them in your freezer and bring them out uh, and use them at later date. So they're very versatile. I mean, they're they're really good. Uh, I'll have the second video coming up and I'll show you how how I put them on the on the grill. And I'm going to be cooking these indirect. What I want the chili to do and and the cheese, I want the cheese to melt and uh, the chili to kind of kind of roast up. And that's what's going to happen when I put them on the on the grill. And I'll show you uh, a video on, on that and it'll be coming up. Uh, or that'll be my next video. Then I'll show you uh, how they turned out and it'll be like the plating up of them. And I've also made like a, a special salad to go with them. It's a cucumber tomato salad. I have that on my channel if you want to check that one out. And uh, I've I'll have the second video coming up. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. And I'll have the second video coming up. And y'all take care.